In this example, given the equation x squared plus y squared equals 25, and we are going to find dy by dx, and then evaluate the derivative at 4, 4 comma 3, or the point 4 comma 3, and the point 0, 5. If you recall, x squared plus y squared equals 25, this is the equation for the circle. The, the radius, the radius r equals, this is the r squared, so the r equals 5, the center at the origin 0, 0. As you see the diagram on the, on the screen here, the center 0, 0, the radius r equals 5, and then you have the intercept at 5 comma 0, 0 comma 5, negative 5 comma 0, and 0 comma negative 5. Our goal is to find dy by dx, which is the slope, slope of the tangent line. And we have two locations. If we're going to find that value of the slope at the order pair 4 comma 3 and at the order pair 0, 5. Okay, from the diagram with the dotted lines, dotted tangent line, you can tell that at 4, 3, the slope of the tangent line is supposed to be negative because based on the picture, we can, we can see the behavior of the tangent line where the tangent line that passing or um, tangent to the circle at the point zero 5 is in a horizontal line, uh, so horizontal line. So we expect to get the slope zero. So m equals zero here and then m negative for the other slope. So let's show all the work detail. Um, the equation that we have, which is x squared plus y squared equals 25. And this is one of the implicit function form. Okay, implicit form or x and y all together. We do not see y as a standalone term equals all expression in x and the number on the other side as we usually do. So with this one, to find dy by dx, we can find the derivative of each term one by one. So I'm gonna do d by dx of the quantity x squared, d by dx of the quantity y squared, and d by dx of the quantity 25. So this step, I put a note to myself, I find the derivative with respect to x to all terms. And then, um, what I have to do, I'm going to work on one term at a time. The derivative of x squared with respect to x, so this part is going to give us 2x. The derivative of y squared with respect to x, we call y is a function of x, which we do not need to know what exactly y in terms of x. Okay, So this step, we're going to use the chain rule which is the general power rule because we see the power here. Okay, so the second term, we're gonna have the power n, which is the power two. So two multiplied by the quantity y to the power two minus one multiplied by y prime. And the last term or the term on the right-hand side, this is the constant term. So the derivative gonna be zero. Now we are done finding the derivative of each term. So then to find to finish off the problem, or our goal is to find dy by dx, right? dy by dx is the same as y prime. So next step, we're gonna solve for y prime. To solve for y prime, wherever you see y prime, you're gonna leave it alone and then move other terms to the other side of the problem. So right now we have 2x plus 2 times y times y prime equals 0. To do divide, um, you subtract both sides by 2x. So now we have 2y times y prime equals negative 2x. And then divide both sides by 2y. OK, that will give us uh, the y prime equals negative x over y. And this is 
the expression for dy by dx for any x and y. Now we're gonna find the, the dy by dx at the order pair four comma three. So at the order pair four comma three, dy by dx gonna be negative x over y, replace it with the x equals four and the y and the y equals three because the order pair means the order pair of x comma y. And with this, we can see that replace x with the four, replace y with the three, the slope of the tangent line, passing the point four three or the dy by dx at the order pair four three is negative four over three, which is um, um, kind of confirming the way the figure that we see is the negative slope, okay? And then the other, Question you have to find at the point zero five. At the point zero five, x is zero, y is five. So we're gonna compute the same way, dy by dx, which is negative x over y. Evaluate when x equals zero and y equals five, or negative zero over five and return the zero value, which is the same as what we make an observation on the diagram.